Man, oh man, it really looks like Insomniac wants to uh, tread down the Arkham path after all. And uh, let me just say, that leads to disaster and woes. But uh, anyway, welcome to K-Wings Let's Plays. I am one of the co-hosts of the channel, and today we're talking about what an Insomniac writer said about the future of the Spider-Man franchise. Now, if you guys haven't already, make sure you smash that like button, share the video with a friend, and also subscribe to the channel if you're new. So, a lot of you guys know that uh, we cover um, both brands of uh, the superhero market, DC and Marvel. This channel is more Marvel-oriented, and our other channel, when there's actually DC content, features a lot of Batman, and sometimes the Justice League. But on this channel, it's primarily Spider-Man. So, Insomniac uh, is making a huge gamble. And uh, the following topic will be very spoilerific, so if you've not played the end of Spider-Man 2, I suggest you thwip out of here because I am going to spoil the end of the game for you. Otherwise, people have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, so anyway, at the game's conclusion, we see Peter and MJ hanging out together, planning their life, and Peter is very troubled by all the events that happen in the game. His best friend becoming an alien trying to bite off his head, and also turn New York into crazy symbiotes, which did happen. And uh, also wanting to um, do something for the Emily and May Foundation that he and his best friend essentially came up with. So he wants to invest all his time and energy into that, as well as actually starting a family with Mary Jane, possibly marrying her, at least I hope so, and getting us the spider baby. In order to do all those things, well, he can't be Spider-Man. And uh, that definitely makes sense. So Miles says he's basically going to step it up, and Peter should take a break. And that's where we kind of uh, leave it. Now, Insomniac Rider wanted to go a bit further and said, well, from now on, Miles Morales is now the main Spider-Man in the Insomniac universe. And this has people up in arms, and for good reason. Uh, the Spider-Man franchise as a whole is basically Peter Parker's trilogy. And what they're saying, the writer is that Miles Morales is now the face of the Insomniac games, whereas basically in the ending that I just described, it showed you that Peter was just taking some time off, uh, probably a year or so, to be a family man and to try to get his garage business startup off the ground, which, you know, from a storytelling point makes sense, and also it kind of tells Peter fans, hey, hang on, you don't need to worry about Peter Parker being done as Spider-Man because... He's just taking a break. Eventually, Green Goblin's going to come into the picture, and Peter is going to have to deal with that because Miles can't. Also, Green Goblin and Doc Ock are both nemesises of Peter Parker and not really Miles Morales. So having Miles Morales and, you know, Cindy Moon take down, uh, essentially, Spider-Man nemesis, um, not a good idea. So pretty much what this writer is doing is they're riding on the coattails of the Spider-Man 2 hype, which is definitely off the chain. And the game is pretty solid. Uh, the more I keep playing the game, I still keep it around an 8, kind of. There's still parts of the game that I don't like, but I'm not really going to get all preachy about that. Uh, I prefer the 2018 Spider-Man game, uh, personally, because I like the story, I like the music. I like the gameplay of Spider-Man 2 better and the traversal, but that's about it. The story is kind of a mix between... Uh, King in Black and Web of Shadows games, so not really huge on that, but it is what it is. So anyway, uh, getting back to the whole gamble. Why is it a gamble that Miles Morales would be the lead of the series? Well, for one, his spin-off game did not do very well. I know a lot of people like to brag, or humble brag, that 6.5 million copies of the game being sold is pretty good. But you have to remember that the 2018 Spider-Man did double that, over 20 plus million. Um, so Miles Morales is really not in that radar. In fact, Sony is so embarrassed by the sales of Miles Morales that, if you've noticed, after the pandemic, uh, basically they include the Spider-Man franchise as a whole in the 33 million sold worldwide uh, when discussing it both it, to the press uh, through shareholder meetings and other things when discussing Spider-Man. They do not, uh, outside of Japan, actually say the real sales numbers for all the Spider-Man games because if they did, Miles would be below uh, the 2018 Spider-Man game. 
So what they do is they take the success of the 2018 game, they take the Miles Morales game, they take the remastered uh, Spider-Man, which only did about 3 million uh, sold, and they do the PC version, which it's kind of up in the air how many of those sold. And they combine all of those into the Spider-Man franchise when discussing 33 million sold. So that's where you get that. Now, inside of Japan, it's actually easier to find out what the real numbers are, and Miles is currently sitting around 6.5 to 7.3 million sold worldwide. But that also says shipped. Um, so that doesn't necessarily mean sales either. Uh, whereas Nintendo and other companies, when they talk about NPD sales, they're actually talking about sales. So from a marketing standpoint, Miles Morales uh, would not be very successful at... Uh, leading Spider-Man 3 by himself, even with Cindy Moon, which hardly any people know about. Remember, Miles has only been a superhero in Marvel Comics for about 13 to 14 years. Uh, he hasn't been around as long as I've been married yet. He's getting there, and he's quite popular, and the Spider-Verse movies are definitely helping with that popularity. But he's not really at Peter's level just yet. Um, so, with the uh, writers riding on the coattails announcing to... A pretty big market for Peter Parker that Miles Morales is now going to be the lead character in their Spider-Man games. It's not really a good thing to do. That's like James Gunn announcing that Henry Cavill and all these other characters aren't coming back uh, right before one of your um, biggest kind of like gamble releases, Black Adam. Uh, and well, we all saw what happened with Black Adam and The Flash and pretty much every DC movie that released in 2023. There was no interest in it because it didn't matter. In terms of the storyline, everyone's favorite characters that they loved wouldn't be coming back. And that's what happens with a reboot, essentially. And while the Miles Morales, um, you know, frontrunner is not necessarily a reboot, at the same time, that type of language is going to alienate uh, general audience people that only bought the game for Peter Parker, because that's their Spider-Man. So while, you know, for the sake of inclusivity and diversity, you might have just sunk the Spider-Man franchise. And I hate to say it, but it's a 50-50 at this point. Twitter is kind of divided on this whole argument at the time of uh, posting this video. Uh, you have one side that are singing the praises of Miles Morales, the now being Insomniac's only Spider-Man. And then you have people saying, well, it was a good run, but I really wanted to see Peter Parker uh, close out his trilogy and then Miles take over. And I'm on the same boat. Um, I would have loved to see Peter Parker for a Spider-Man 3 as the main Spider-Man. Instead, if he shows up now, he'll be kind of like a side character the way Miles was when basically Gobby and Doc Ock are his villains. Um, I would have been hopeful for a Miles Morales spinoff game. Uh, featuring the introduction of his own rogues gallery and not uh, recycling Peter's content, especially when he has no emotional attachment to either um, Norman Osborn or, you know, Otto Octavius. So a lot of people see the Spider-Man 2018 game franchise as kind of like the Arkham games, which has a clear beginning, a middle, and an end, and with all the teasing of the final chapter, that's exactly what the third Spider-Man game would be. I still predict that, you know, Peter Parker and Gobby are going to have a massive fight. Peter's either going to die or he's going to lose the ability to be Spider-Man, such as a very tragic injury. Uh, in the comics in the 90s, Peter's leg was blown off by a pumpkin bomb, which forced retirement. And he had to uh, just a family man to his wife and his daughter. As well as, you know, get a regular job. Uh, I think he became a teacher or something like that. And Spider-Man was off the table until his daughter became of age and found his costume, developed his powers, and became Spider-Girl. And that led to a whole bunch of uh, adventures for a new generation. So, you know, if you give Spider-Man a reason for not being around anymore, then it would make sense that Miles would be the lead character. But again, from a marketing standpoint, which it is a video game business... Doing this kind of stuff is not without its risks. Now, you know, I was a game journalist for about 10 years in the industry. I saw a lot of trends and a lot of things work and a lot of things fail. I was also there for the rise and fall of the Arkham industry, pretty much. And, uh, you know, when they killed off Batman and Arkham Knight, that kind of, you know, signaled to Warner Brothers that was the end of the Arkham franchise. 
And that's exactly what happened. All spinoff games for Arkham were canceled with uh, Batman and Robin, as well as future potential games with Damian Wayne, because basically Warner Brothers found no way to continue the Arkham franchise, and uh, that was it. So if you retire Peter now, essentially you're going to do some stuff to alienate a huge install base that is just there for Peter Parker. There was six million people there for Miles Morales, but the reason why the Spider-Man 2 game is going to be so successful is because you can play as both Spider-Man and the game focuses on Peter Parker, which is the more popular Spider-Man. That's just the facts, ladies and gentlemen. But now I want to hear from you. How do you feel about Insomniac saying that uh, Miles Morales is now their Spider-Man going forward? Meaning, when Spider-Man shows up in other Marvel characters' games that they're developing, you'll see Miles Morales and not Peter Parker. As well as any game that they start to develop, Miles Morales will be the forefront, and Peter Parker, if he shows up, will just be a side character with a lesser role than Miles Morales. At least that's what the writer was bragging about, but I don't want to post their article because it's not really a fun read. Remember to thwip the like button on your way out, and more Spider-Man videos are in the pipeline. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and see you live later tonight with something.